Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to update the firmware for your Genesis controller. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we've got an internet connection. So right now we've got an X through our internet connection, so we need to go ahead and do that first. So we'll press the menu button, we'll scroll down to configuration, and then we'll choose communications, and then we want to set up the Wi-Fi. So right now it's just scanning for local networks. Okay, so we've got a couple of them. Um, we're going to go ahead and sign into the Bartlett network. And so then you're just going to enter the password for your network. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And press save. Now if you don't have a password, just leave that line blank and press save and it'll do the same thing. So we'll press save. Now we're just waiting for the controller to connect to the local network. Alright, so now we've connected. So we go ahead and press the home button. Okay, so now we want to download the new firmware, so we press menu button. We scroll down to configuration, communications again, and then we're going to scroll down to download firmware. So we'll go ahead and press that. And now the controller is just searching for new updates for the controller. Okay, so it's letting us know that this controller currently has the latest version, but I'm going to go ahead and continue anyway. So press the continue button. Now the controller is just going to go through a series of steps to erase the old software and put in the new. Okay, so now everything has gone to complete. So now we've got the option to install the new software or return to the home screen. So we're going to press the install button. And now it's going to go through another series of downloading and checking the firmware. And then we should be complete. Alright, so once that finishes, it'll just flash to the startup screen again and back to idle, and then we've been updated. Now to check your firmware version, you just press the menu button, data menu, and scroll down to kiln info, and you can see our version is 3.3.0. Okay, so that's it for now, so remember to check our website for updates, like us on Facebook, and sign up for our newsletter for more information and tips. Thanks!